Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're jumping back into that shabby experience that is Autonauts. So as we left off last time, we finished off our tier 3 village. Everyone's just looking adorable. They're just so happy looking them. Doing little headstands. Look at their little cute little buttholes right there. Look at those things. Everything about them's adorable. Alright, so what do we got today? We need to start preparing for tier four now, right? So first things first that I know we can prepare for is we're gonna need for tier four food, right? Let's just go back together. Just in case you didn't happen to catch the last episode and you skipped it for some reason, we'll take, or you forgot like me. Let's just be real, I forgot. So going in here, we need to have, sorry, right, next one. Crude dough, right? So with crude dough, we're gonna need to do a few things. First of all, we need to set up a flower processing plant and we need to set up watery porridge. So first and foremost, what I want to do is set up watery porridge. And to do that, we're going to need two cooking or mixing pots, two cereal, two water and a clay pot to make one watery porridge. OK, which is such a weird thing. Like, why do we need a cereal seed and water to make dough? That's, it, it doesn't make sense. It should just be water and flour unless they want to like make some yeast out of it, per se? Like, is this a yeast? No, that, that's not what yeast is, but you know, it's just where we'll go with. So let's start with getting this set up. So we're gonna need two crude mixing stations. You know, I'm gonna put them right back down here. Do I have, oh, I don't even have two. So let's plop these down. We'll probably need a couple of these anyway. So let's just get a couple, couple in the works there. There we go, what is that? Two, four, six, that'll hold us off for a bit. All right. Oh, clothed colonists. Look at that. They're so beautiful. Oh, man, look at all this. So we got the Besom Broom. Ooh, the MK2 variants. These ones are so much cooler looking. Look at that. Giant water wheel. I wonder what that does. Bonus wonder spaceport loading site for off-world cargo ships. What the heck is that? I have no idea what any of those are. Interesting. Triangle frame, that's new. Nice new fencing. Oh, look at that. That looks so much nicer. So much more expensive, though. Alright, so I can get a broom. Destroy small objects by sweeping them away. What? That's cool. That's a sick little item there. You know, these are probably small objects. Okay, so let's get our cereal farm going now. So I've got... I've got at least two of these now. I think I want two, so... We're gonna plop these down. There's the gate. The gate is there, so... Rotate... All right, these are going to be for cereal. Oh, cereal. Crude mixing pot. Watery porridge. Okay, so first and foremost, let's get our bots rolling here, right? So we need someone to bring cereal over. So, uh, cereal transport. So you are going to come over here. You're going to take from there until your hands are full. And I only need two, so I'm going to grab two. Do that. Come here. And then, actually, I'm going to go grab two more real quick. So you're going to do... You're going to do this... How do I want to do this? Um, yeah, you know what? We'll do this. Just do this until your hands are empty. I'm trying to think of this. I want them to go to each one. Add there until hands are empty. 
It's not going to go back and forth. Oh, let me look at my pumpkins here. Oh, you know what? I think I have them literally going back and forth because these require four. But what does my Herbie pumpkin transport do? So he does this, and then they just go back and forth until hands are empty. Okay. So, probably need cereal again. Cereal transport. There we go. So, do this until your hands are full. And then you're going to come here. And here. Until hands empty. Until hands empty. And then... You're just going to do that forever. Okay. Alright. That's good. That'll work. And I'm going to make my dough up here, I think. So I want to start a little crude dough making shop here. I think I'm going to start a crude dough shop here. So first of all, we're going to get our rotary kern. This will go up here, though. I'm going to plop it. What? I don't have one? I do. It's up there. There it is. Like, I know I made one of these. Oop. One of you guys. Do that for a moment. I need one of these for watery porridge. That. Okay. So I need so I need bots to be bringing over fresh water as well. And the fresh water is gonna kill me with this basic bucket. We've got a new one coming. Pretty slowly though. Maybe I should increase the amount of colonists we have over here. I don't have any huts though. Let's go over here real quick. If I just get these started, I, my bots will finish them. There we go. Put these down here. Okay. And... Alright, so now let's get a, a bot... For, oh, let's just keep going with this here. So, we need fresh water and clay pots, right? So, I need more robots. I need to organize my people after this, too. Water transport. Porridge. Watery porridge. Maybe I'll understand what that means. You Come over here. You know what we're gonna do? Do this if your hands are empty. Alright, stop for one second here. I'm gonna move this to over here. So they don't have nearly as far to go. I would rather my delivery bots have a little further, and maybe we'll fit, update that a bit later, but. See how that goes. Okay. So, watery porridge bot. Record. So you're going to do this. And then you're going to come over here. Oh, I didn't fill my bucket. Take water from storage. You're going to do that forever. Forge two. And then order transport forge one. You as well, you're gonna follow the same process here. If your hands are empty, go get a bucket. Come over here. Pick that. 
bring it here. Do this forever. Go. Just gonna go put my bucket away. All right. That's good. I'm gonna make a quick new team here. I don't know how to spell porridge, is that right? Pottery porridge. So that's gonna be cereal transport and our two new water bots. Watery porridge. I don't know why I was looking for cereal porridge. Okay. A dishwasher is going to go a part of our BD team. Where are you? BDs. Okay. So now we've got water. We've got cereal. Let's get a clay pot. Port transport. Clay pot transport. Forge. Record you. Come over here. Do this until your hands are full. Better grab an extra one. And then come over here. And then you're going to do both of these until your hands are empty. Skip. Actually, I probably should do it like this, huh? Until hands are empty. Do all this. And then rinse and repeat. That sounds right. I think I'm going to... Fix that for the cereal bot, because that means he's probably running back and forth, right? Yeah, look, he's... Oh, that's cereal seeding. Where are you? Oh, stop. Record. This. Boop. This. Until hands empty. Go. There we go. Because otherwise he would have just skipped down and then he would have hit this one and then it would have restarted the loop. And after he added just two of these, he would have restarted. Now, obviously with him only having four, it wouldn't have mattered. But when we upgrade him, he'll have six. So I'd rather him be able to get an extra one off in that time before he goes running back and forth. All right, so there's cereal transport. I've got clay pots here for our watery porridge. And I'm gonna do... This is gonna be the cooking fuel team. Because within my chef day cuisine, you can see we got up to like 17, because I've got fuelers in here, so I want to get all of these in their own little thing. Stick gather, stump remove. Yep. Yeah. So all of these are going to go... Cooking fuel. Perfect. It's the same color, but I just... I want this one to just be all of my... Chefs. For the main food that we're cooking, right? So actually, great point, team. Chef. T2. Great point, everybody. So with that, I want weed transport, I want the tier 2 pumpkin, Jeff, and what is he's that's all tier 3, which is fine. You guys come over here. You. Where are you? There he is. You belong in tier two, but the chef's here. Ah, ah, chef tier two. Okay. A little better. We'll 
we'll, we'll fix as we go as well. Okay, so now we're making watery porridge. Let's have a bot grab all these and put them away. You. Uh, watery porridge storage. All right, come over here. I think I blocked, I blocked one of the gates here. I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. Do this until your hands are full. You can skip it. Then come up here. Do this until your hands are empty. You can also skip that. So that way he at least has a full batch in his hand and then just do this forever. All right, so this will, ooh, watery porridge is down here. Watery porridge. All right, now we got a watery porridge team. I think he has something in his hands. There we go. Pretty sure he had a stick in his hand or something. He still does. I told you to put your stuff down. Yeah, they just don't listen. It's hard to find good help around here. Put these in here. Let those bots take care of them at some point. Some of these. Okay, so, oh, good bot, this is, this is T3, T3 Feedy. He got, he's got to go on the Feedy team. T3 closed, T3 food storage, I don't want that one. You go in the feedy team. Thank you, guys. Um, these guys can go into Chef de Cuisine. They're a part of the main cooking team right now. Okay. All right. On that note, where are my houses? Here they are. Let's let's increase our capacity here. Let's go eight. Gotta move this sign a bit, which means I gotta move these a bit. Oh, let's just make it. Let's make it max. Oh, hold on. A bit more freedom with this thing than I expected to. Alright, I'll do something like... Eh. At least for now, this'll do. Okay. There we go. Now let's put down these extra two houses here. Add that to keep everyone speedy, and... Oh, put my sign down. Oh, jeez. There we go. Keep moving. Right there. That's where I want you. Alright, let's go grab babies. I gotta walk pretty far for these guys. All right, and there we go. Two more for the farm. I mean, the village. So, with that, I expect this to go a little bit faster. Or at least I hope so. And look, Jesus, look at all this watery store, watery forage here. Um, oh, you know what I should do? I should probably do the cereal guy, huh? Yeah. Let's do you. Record. Change this until... Until that's full. And do it forever. There we go. That way we don't get too ridiculous here. Where's my... 
Oh, he's going. He's just slow. Oh, you know what? I get. I know what I gotta fix. I always forget that about these. Let's put this on an area here. There we go. Ah. Oh no, I did. There we go. I always forget that when you hit the pickup, it just allocates it to that one crafting bench. Alright, there we go. So that's going well. We've got watery porridge. Success, right guys? So let's get crude flour. Take a quick walk up here. We'll fix all the kind of placements on this. So I need a bot. Hmm. These guys are... You. Oh, I need you up here in the clay stuff. Play pots. We gotta organize that one a bit better too. You. You can do something, right? Yes. You are gonna be fruit flower crafter. What am I doing? Uh we need seed, so go here. Do this until your hands are full. Then do this until your hands are empty. Go grab a couple. Alright, then come here. Do this until your hands are full, but feel free to skip it because you're going to be changing your quantities as you go. So you're going to do that, do that, then you're going to come over here. Do this until your hands are empty. And since I have only one person doing this, I do not need to set up a repeat fail of doing it till, till it's full because he'll sit here with a full stack in his hand to put it in there. That's the one good thing about when you can have bots doing one whole process like this. that over there to speed up the process ever so slightly I see what's up with the cereal farmers here oh record forever okay go ahead and you you're going fine where's cereal farmer one in here Cereal seed, tiller, harvest. Yep. Yeah. Forgot the member guys to put your forever loops on here because if you only have it until something is full like this, once the process stops, they won't restart. It just shuts them off. All right, there we go. Those guys will get rolling again. Great. Excellent. These guys are doing a fantastic job. I need to do something with all this. What are the... Hmm. Maybe I should just have him drop it all in here instead, huh? Let's do that. But I need a piece. Oops, undo that. Boom. I want you to drop it all right up here. Ugh, I forgot the whole thing. Oops. There we go. Alright, and perfect time. We've got a construction technology ready. Crew dredger, mortar, bricks, the good bucket, which we're going to update everyone with momentarily. And a crude mixing. So, oh, there we go. Now all that's going to move out there. Ah, beautiful stuff. Alright, so now we've got crude flour, we've got our watery porridge, 
We just need to bring it all together, huh? So we need a kitchen table. Maybe something like this. Oh, we need some extra ones. Need anything special? Nope. Alright, we'll get those crafted up. And we'll get this ready to go. Because we're going to need floors. Actually, I should probably place some more of that down and start using up some resources here as well. I'm going to get rid of them for now. Just because I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I might rethink that process. I might just throw them up here. So that things are relatively near each other. Except for the flower, of course. It'll just be a, it'll just be its own thing. God, look at all this cereal in here. It's crazy. But it looks great. It looks great so far. All right, guys. I think that's going to be a good one for today. Let's keep it a little short here. We built up our watery porridge. We've got our crude flour going. Now we just need to put our kitchen table down and have a bot put it all together real quick. Won't take very long at all to do something like that. And then with that, we can start getting our crude dough ready, which if we go back to what we were talking about before, right here, that's all we're going to need to get our new food. So that means we'll be pretty much ready for tier four food once we get our cauldrons, of course. And we get a better supply of pumpkin soup. So we need to kind of vamp that up a bit. I'll be thinking about that. We need to obviously get working on toys, but we need the machine first. So, and then to make them, we're going to need... Oh, we need a wool blanket? What? Looks like I'm going to need to get a real good process of extra wool blankets going too. It'll be separate from the one I have up here doing all this stuff. So, take a I want to take a quick peek before we go. Guys, if you are loving the series, make sure you hit that like button down below and leave me a comment as well because I love to hear from you guys. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can make sure you can find your way back at 9.15 tomorrow. All right, yeah, we need to do it right here on this station here, so we'll do that next time. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Doo. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.